Today's recipe is old-fashioned brownies, just like Grandma used to make, only healthy, a truly guiltless pleasure. Welcome to Nourishing Nirvana. I'm Harmony, and I'm really excited to share this recipe with you today for old-fashioned brownies. These brownies are so special because, number one, they are not only gluten-free, but they're grain-free. They are oil-free. Of course, they're plant-based. And they're sweetened with dates. Dates are the preferred sweetener on a plant-based diet. And I'll tell you why toward the end of the video, so stick around. In the meantime, let's get nourished. OK. Before we get started, a word about these brownies. Yes, they are oil-free. No, they are not fat-free. In fact, they are pretty high in fats due to the almond flour, almond butter, and walnuts. So if you're trying to lose weight and you're not at your ideal weight yet, just kind of take it slow with these. Enjoy them in small amounts. Everything in this recipe is done in the food processor. It's kind of a one bowl wonder, except for adding your walnuts, which you'll do at the end. Now there's two whole cups of walnuts. So I like to chop them ahead of time and then just stir them in at the end. So we're going to chop up our walnuts and set them aside and then add everything to the food processor. All right, so we're ready to start our food processor. Mixing all this up, I have one and a half cups of tightly packed almond flour. I use uh, Anthony's usually, which I get on Amazon. I'm going to put a link to all of the ingredients in the description box below for you. This is one half cup of cocoa powder. Make sure your cocoa powder is non-alkalized. The alkalizing process strips some of the nutrients. So if it's alkalized, it'll sometimes be called Dutch processed, and it's very dark. You just want regular cocoa powder. Then I have one teaspoon of baking soda and our dates, of course. One heaping cup of dates. And they're medjool dates. I took the pits out. I get them usually at Trader Joe's. If you have a Trader Joe's, they have a good deal on dates. And I have a half a cup of almond butter cup of almond butter going in. This almond butter is what gives it that chewy, moist, browny consistency. Yum! Then I have a, a whole tablespoon of vanilla extract. Trust me, it works in this recipe. Normally it would be a teaspoon in most recipes. I use a tablespoon. I like vanilla. And then we're going to put some water. Oh, now Sometimes, if you like it a little sweeter, like my hubby does, you can add a little bit of maple syrup to this just to sweeten it up a bit. For me, it's fine. I don't have a big sweet tooth. The dates are perfectly sweet, but he likes it a little sweeter, so I'm adding a quarter cup of maple syrup for my honey. All right. And then uh, two-thirds of a cup of water. I'm going to go ahead and blend this up a little. Wear it up a little before I put the water to break up the dates. Ow. <laughs> I didn't mention it before. You need a food processor for this recipe. There's no way it would work without. All right now I'm going to add the water as it's running. If you're enjoying this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Alrighty then. We're going to add our nuts, and this, this uh, mixture is very thick and very sticky, so just take your time with it. Enjoy the process. Cooking and baking can be very zen, you know? Just be in the moment and just have fun with it. That's what I like to do. So I have my oven preheated to 350, and I have lined an 8x8 stainless steel baking pan with parchment paper. 
That way you can lift it out when it's done, makes things a lot easier and it won't stick since we're not using oil in the pan. And that's pretty much it, guys. It's a pretty easy recipe. Get some upper body strength mixing this dough. What a nice treat once in a while, right? It's all right. I'm going to put it in here now. Wish me luck. It is stiff and sticky. That's okay. It's worth the effort. Trust me. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> so you got to mush it down. Make sure the paper stays in there. Maybe use another spatula to help you out. Yeah. And then you want to flatten it down into the pan. <laughs> I finally wrestled the dough into the pan and flattened it out. It looks pretty good. And uh, now it's going into a preheated 350 degree oven for 30 minutes. See you when it's done. At last, our brownies are out of the oven and they are cool enough to cut. <clears throat> you gotta wait for them to cool though because due to the almond flour in there, if you try to cut them when they're too hot, they'll just fall apart. They firm up as they cool. So this is still a tiny bit warm. I just can't wait, that's the hardest part. Before we cut into them though, I promised I would tell you about dates and why are dates the preferred sweetener on a plant-based diet? Well, first of all, they're whole food. That's a given. They're high in fiber, which is great. They are a good source of iron and other nutrients. And a really interesting thing that I didn't know before until I did some research was that there is a, phyto, a phytochemical in dates that actually helps gut health. We're all about gut health these days, right? So dates actually help the body's gut to create beneficial bacteria. So, I mean, why not eat dates instead of sugar? Let's do this. I'm excited. We're gonna lift it out. Oh. And that way, put it on a cutting, cutting board and we can slice into it. You can cut this in third and third again. That'll give you a pretty big brownie. And like I said, they're pretty high in fat. So what I usually do is I do it in half and in half again. While you're with me here, I'm just going to take my little taste test, whoops, of this corner. I just want to bite. You now I've had these a million times, so I know what it's going to taste like. They're so good. Look at that. It's nice and fudgy and gooey, just like a brownie should be. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Oh, wow. <laughs> I will never get tired of this dessert. It reminds me of my nona, my grandma. She used to make us some chocolatey, fudgy things. But um, this is great. Have fun with this recipe, guys. If you'll notice, I haven't washed the mixing bowl because I have a feeling someone's going to want to lick the bowl. Honey! Anyway, that's all for today, guys. Until next time, remember, nothing tastes as good as healthy feels. <laughs>